Hey everyone and welcome to another Simple Science video and in this video we are going to be looking at the Young Modulus. So in our previous videos we looked at how extension and the load are linked and it is linked via a constant that is the elastic constant or k and this elastic constant basically describes the link between extension and the load for a spring just a spring a particular spring and not basically any other spring okay so, so therefore it is quite inconvenient in that we must find a constant that is able to describe a material, describe how the extension and the load varies generally for a material. So we must find a convenient way to basically have this constant to describe the link for a particular material, which the elastic constant does not do. And the constant that we must use that will describe the link between force and extension in a particular material is the Young modulus. All right. Before we understand the Young modulus, we must understand two other concepts. And the first concept is the stress, or signified as sigma. Okay. And when an object is extended or a load is applied to it, it will experience stress. Okay. And stress is basically equal to the load in which we apply to our our wire divided by the area normal to the force. So that's basically the cross-sectional area if you're looking at it from a 3D point of view. And it is equal to force over area. So therefore, the unit is in pascals. And when you're doing experiments to determine the Young modulus, you will have to find out the stress that this, this string or a wire is undergoing. And the way you do it is to find the diameter of the, the wire at this particular load, you would have to use a micrometer, and you'd have to measure along, you have to measure along the wire and average out to find the average diameter. And you would have to find the cross-sectional area. How do you do this? Like pi r squared is for the radius, quarter pi d squared is for the area. So you use a quarter pi d squared to find the area of the cross-sectional area of the wire that you're trying to measure. Okay. And the other concept is strain, or signified as epsilon. And it is basically the ratio between the extension and the original length of the wire as it is getting extended. Okay? So, looking at the diagram, strain, epsilon, is equal to x over L. And since x is in meters, or any particular length dimension, and L is a particular length dimension, it therefore is equal it has no units, okay? And since stress is directly proportional to force, there's basically a constant linking them, that is 1 over the area, and strain is directly proportional to extension. There's a constant that links those two together, that is the 1 over original length, and that is constant. And we know from the previous videos that force is directly proportional to extension. And those two have a constant that link together, that is k, the elastic constant. So therefore, stress and strain must be directly proportional to each other. They will have a constant that will link their relationship together. And since stress and strain will follow a similar relationship as force and extension, it's basically directly proportional. It will be a graph, a linear graph, that passes through the origin, just like a force and extension graph, where the behavior will be different as it reaches the elastic limit, of course. Okay, and we know that stress is directly proportional to strain, or sigma is directly proportional to epsilon. So therefore, we must have a constant to link those two. So sigma is equal to a constant, big E, multiplied by epsilon. And this big E constant that we must use to link stress and strain is the Young modulus, okay? And the Young modulus is equal to stress over strain when we rearrange this. And the Young modulus, yes, I've just talked about that. And the units, therefore, is in pascals because strain has no unit and stress has a unit. It's not dimensionless. It has a unit of pascals, all right? And what's amazing is that we're looking at the graph, the Young modulus is actually the gradient of the graph. It's a relationship between stress and strain. So therefore, it is the rate of change of, uh, of stress with, with 
respect to strain. So that is the gradient. Okay, and it is very very important constant to basically solve questions that require you to, uh, to to solve situations where you would be given parameters where you such as the diameter of the wire and the force and basically related to the young modulus and you can basically use graphs to solve this question or you can use a simple formula okay and to sum up this video stress is equal to force divided by the area normal to the force epsilon the ratio between extension and length is the strain and the young modulus is equal to stress over strain Thank you very much for watching my video. Your support has been amazing, especially for the biology videos. And I really look forward to seeing you next time. And please do check out my previous videos on work, energy, and power just to make sure you haven't missed anything in your learning and your revision. All right, everyone, have a nice day.